Hi, I'm Elsa Mayer, Community Manager here at Snowflake, and this is another episode of Behind the Data Cloud. In this episode, I'll be taking over as host so we can sit down with Daniel Myers and learn a little bit about some of the newest tools and resources he's created for developers. Daniel, how does it feel to be a guest on your own show today? Pretty awesome. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's fun to be on, uh, on the other side of things every now and then. Well, it's a, it's a privilege to be here and, and learn a little bit about the work you're doing. So for folks who are t- tuning in to Behind the Data Cloud for the first time today, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I uh, work for Snowflake, you know, developer relations here. And uh, so basically, you know, a lot of what I do is around uh, developer enablement, right? So helping developers uh, develop applications with and on Snowflake. Uh, so that means working on uh, really awesome demos, right? So like how to build a, a recommendation engine on Snowflake, uh, working on uh, TV and you know YouTube series like this, yeah. um, and also helping run our open source community, so Snowflake Labs. How did I get into this space? Well, you know, so before Snowflake, uh, I was part of the developer relations team for Google Assistant, actually. Um, and so, you know, it's always been in my background, like working with uh, the community, working with developers um, and, you know, and really being a developer myself. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Always love to sit down with a, a fellow community enthusiast. So this is great. Could you tell us a little bit about the developer resources you're going to demo for us today? Yeah, absolutely. So two big ones, uh, two big developer resources today and, and, and areas where developers can go to learn more uh, and experiment with Snowflake is Snowflake guides, right? I like to call them quick starts um, and Snowflake labs. So, you know, uh, let me go ahead and start actually share my screen here um, and show you the, these things. So Snowflake guides is kind of what it sounds like. It is uh, uh, the area and place within Snowflake that you can go to really get started, right? No matter what the topic is, right? So SnowSQL, that's our CLI client that you can run SQL queries directly on Snowflake, you know, from from your CLI. Um, You can get started directly with with Python, one of the most popular uh, languages that developers use when interacting with Snowflake, Uh, even with Snowpipe. So Snowpipe is, is the tool that developers use to automatically ingest data from AWS S3, GCP, or Azure, right? Um, And so no matter what the topic is, uh, this is where you can go to get started on it. What's great about these is that by the end of one of these guides, you have built something, right? So this one here is one of my favorites. This is building a recommendation engine with AWS SageMaker. So this is where, um, you know, by the end of this, you have built, in many ways, a, a clone of the, of the movie recommendation engine that you might implement on with Netflix, for example, right? So it takes this movie lens data set, uh, and, and, you're, and by the end of it, you've, you've built a custom training and inference Docker image. Uh, you, know, you have a serverless app connected to Snowflake, uh, and you're able to leverage all of this uh, through the data cloud on Snowflake. So it's pretty cool. Um, and that's, that's the key differentiator between one of these guides and, you know, maybe some other material that you might read is that, you know, this isn't just going over the concepts of what's in a guide, but it's actually, you know, the source code of what's involved in it, right? And that is actually where Snowflake Labs comes in, right? So these are connected things where, you know, it's one, th- again, well, it's one thing to talk about the concepts of what's involved, like what is, uh, what is, you know, a external function of Snowflake, what does that mean and how do you set it up? But it's a whole nother thing to be able to say, hey, uh, this is the actual source code to build it. Um, and so that recommender pipeline that with SageMaker, the, all of the source code of it is located on GitHub. So uh, you can go in, clone this repository, set it up in your own environment and play with it and even change it, right? So you could you potentially even use this as a seed project to build your own type of recommendation and it doesn't have to be movies, right? To be something else. Um, so that's, that's a key differentiator with these guides. Um, another really cool thing actually with Snowflake Labs is that in addition to these guides, 
It also hosts uh, some community-led projects, so software tools and uh, and different types of, of you know applications that the community has built and community maintains them. Um, a great example of this is actually our accelerator plugin for Excel. So this is where you know with Snowflake you can directly query. Uh, even manipulate data in your snow in your Snowflake data cloud directly from Excel. Um, this is really cool too because you know we see our own customers using this and contributing back to it and things like that. Um, and so this is uh, an example of of an application that's not developed directly by Snowflake, but works with Snowflake. It's part of the open source community. Um, and, uh, and so that's that's, that's uh, one of the other things that Snowflake Labs does. Um, and uh, you know, a really good resource on here is actually uh, the awesome Snowflake repository. So uh, for any of the viewers out here, if you if you, you might be familiar with the awesome awesome lists is what they're called, right? So it is a kind of a single place where you go to to get all sorts of resources. Uh, heavily and, and tightly curated by the owner of the repository, but the idea is anybody can can submit a new resource to be added, right? So here we have uh, this curated list of community content where where people can go to get you know connected with the Snowflake community, right? So obviously we have our own Snowflake com community Snowflake.com. That's the official Snowflake community site, and you can become a data hero there. Um, we also have our other community areas. So like Reddit, right? Stack Overflow, our YouTube channel, right? Where you're watching this. And, uh, um, you know, one, one that I really like to point out maybe because I, you know, I, I, I helped grow this is the Medium blog, right? So the Medium blog is one, one of my favorites because I, I helped build this thing uh, from the ground up. And there's a lot of really good technical content on this. Uh, because, you know, even Felipe, so, you know, uh, anybody here that, that knows Felipe, uh, we, we work together a lot. Um, the, but there's a lot of really good technical content. What's cool, too, is that it's not all written by Snowflake. This is, again, written by community members. Uh, you know, community members of, of sometimes are, they're our customers. Sometimes they're part of our data superhero program, right? Um, and... Uh, but they're all the focus here is technical content on uh, this is really where you know some of the concepts live, um, even you know how to's on how to use different tools, right? So this is a is a great one on how to use Postman with Snowflake, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool um, and a really good area that you know I, I like to encourage people to follow this because every single week we're posting new blog articles here, um, and uh, um, and so you know. We also have some of our, our uh, uh, main Twitter, uh, you know, personas, persons, right? So Snowflake DB, Felipe, Kent, and myself, um, and also the other areas of, of really high technical content, right? So Snowflake Guides, which I just went over, uh, our reference docs themselves. Uh, but we also, what's really cool here, a lot of people don't know about this, is we have the Snowflake Essential Training. This is, this is actual courses completely on Snowflake, completely free that you can take that by the end of it, you know, you've gone through a whole series of, of courses uh, with a complete curated curriculum. We have a whole team dedicated to this. It's pretty cool um, that, uh, you know, by the end of it, you've, you've learned a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, the, some other really cool stuff is actually the open source integrations. This is the last piece on the curation list that I want to go over, which is uh, so DBT is huge, right? So anybody in the data space uh, will probably be familiar with DBT in some way, shape, or form. Um, and what's great is that you know we direct we link directly to you know how to configure Snowflake from the DBT website, um, you know on how to how to how to set this up, right? So um, you know what's nice again is that these are highly curated by myself and others on the developer relations team. Um, and so Terraform is another big one. Uh, Terraform, we actually have, and we work closely with uh, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative uh, on this uh, Terraform provider for Snowflake. Um, and this is, you know, a shout out that I want to really give is to the CTI team. They've been, they've done a fantastic job 
uh, with this whole project. Um, and so much so that it's getting a lot of, of uh, popularity now. Um, and you know, so, so for the viewers here, right, if you want to uh, you know, contribute back to the open source community for Snowflake and, and, and have a big impact, this is probably one of the top projects that you can contribute to that, that has a lot of areas that, you can, that still needs contribution. Um, so I wanna encourage everybody today, like take a look at this, especially if you are you know, managing cloud resources, you're probably using Terraform anyway, right? So if, you, if you're managing GCP, AWS, or Azure, this is gonna be a great way to do that. Um, so I, I encourage everybody to contribute back to some of these open source projects, especially this one. Um, you know, and then we also have you know, our, our Apache Airflow and Superset integrations. Um, and then those, those demos that I talked about, so AWS SageMaker, um, and our live Twitter data into Snowflake. Um, and so, you know, so that's, that's in, in short, you know, a couple of the things I wanted to go over. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what's, that's what gets me really excited about this. This is so incredible. I mean, I love, I love the resources. I love the community contributions, just exciting across the board. You've named a lot of resources today. And uh, for, for folks who are just getting started, what would be the one place that you recommended someone start off at? Great. Yeah, I love that question because, you know, I, I like to tell, you know, there, there's definitely a couple of places, but I would say that one of the best places to get started is guides.snowflake.com. I mean, that's uh, the whole title of that page is getting started on Snowflake from a technical perspective, right? Um, and the other really good area that, that I point people to is to get involved with the community is our user groups, right? So our user groups, we have tons of them, right? Right, right now with, with COVID, they're all virtual, but over time, I mean, we, we used to have them all in person. Uh, those are always tons of fun because you get to meet people in person, you get to meet people that are using the same tools as you. So you get to, you know, talk tech with them, right? Um, and uh, uh, so I, I definitely encourage people to get involved in their local user groups. And uh, so those, those are two big areas that, that I uh, point people to. Love that answer. Question about the um, open source projects in Snowflake Labs. Have you seen any really unique or powerful implementations of those projects? Yeah, yeah, that, I, that's a great question. So, um, one of the the you know coolest implementations is actually with uh, DFW Airport. So uh, we have a customer uh, using Accelerator today um, that they, they use Accelerator with you know directly from Snowflake Labs uh, to help manage you know all of the various resources that they have in Snowflake, all the data that they have, and. Um, and so that's, that's one of the coolest ones. Another really cool community, entirely community built project is actually for VS Code. So there's a, there's a, a, a plugin for VS Code, VS Code called uh, SQL Tools. Um, and so the SQL Tools provides little, you know, basically an interface for interacting with all sorts of data providers, right? So different databases, Postgres, others. A community member actually built a driver uh, leveraging our Node.js driver for VS Code that runs in SQL tools. So now you can directly from VS Code interact with Snowflake, um, you know, complete with, you know, uh, all, all the various, you know, tidbits that you might want. Um, and what's great about this is that, you know, your worksheets now, you know, live locally. Uh, you can store them in source control. Um, and so it's, it's, you know, for people familiar and wanting to use VS Code, this is a great alternative, a great way to do that. So cool. Sounds like some great content for potential user group meetings down the road. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you mentioned uh, a little bit about contributing to the Terraform project. For folks who are fairly advanced and, and are actually interested in, in sharing their code, how would you recommend that they get involved and contribute? So the best way is following the, con uh, the contributor guide um, on that project. So um, the, with, with almost every open source project, um, there'll be in, within the README, um, how to, a, a instruction list on what they look for when contributing, right? So it might be running your code through, um, a test suite, for example. Um, it might be, you know, including a template, uh, of the, uh, you know, when you actually make the pull request, a template for what's in the description and things like that. Um, and so I would, I would definitely take a look at that. 
when looking to contribute. The other thing is taking a look at the issues list, right? So if you're looking for an idea of, hey, what should I contribute to this? Well, there's a whole list of feature requests that people are making in the issue list, right? And so um, I would just, you know, literally scroll through that list and be like, that one looks cool to me, or hey, I actually want that feature too. I'm going to go and implement it, right? Um, and that's that's really the heart of, of open source is is getting people excited and involved and engaged in these open source projects because you know at the end of the day, if you're using the project, um, you know you'll you'll be able to say, you know, hey, I, you know, I my my piece of code is is touching thousands or millions of developers using this project. So uh, it's cool to say that. So you've accomplished a lot. Uh, a lot of fantastic resources that, that you've gone through here. What's next for developer resources at Snowflake? What are you thinking about for the next six months, 12 months? Without giving away, you know, the, the secret sauce, you know, what I'm really excited about is this one upcoming uh, June, uh, our data summit, right? So we're going to be making some really, really cool announcements that, that I've been working on for months, right? Along with our product engineering teams, product management, everybody here at Snowflake. Um, it's really impressive to my, you know, like I'm, I'm impressed at the work all these teams are doing. Um, and it's really cool to, to know like beforehand, like be in the know of like what we're working on um, and uh, what we're going to be announcing. So, you know, while it might be like a little bit of a tease, like to, to say, hey, you know, I'm excited about this. So I can't talk about it yet, but I will be talking about it at the, at our summit here in just a few months. So, um, you know, I, I encourage everybody to sign up and, and watch our data summit uh, later this year because we're going to be making some, some really cool announcements. Totally agreed. I'm really excited for some of those announcements as well. So definitely make sure you're in attendance there. So Daniel, where can people go to learn more about developer resources? Do you have a landing page? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I would suggest going to developers.snowflake.com. Um, that's really kind of the, the landing page and homepage for developers to learn with all sorts of resources there. So from there, you'll find a link to the guides. You'll find a link to our open source community on Snowflake Labs. And you'll even be able to sign up for some of the upcoming different uh, events that we have, right? So we're actually having App Week here uh, later later this year as well, um, which is a great way to learn, uh, get real de hands-on demos of what Snowflake is capable of um, and some of the cool features that we have. We also have our Build Summit, right, at later in September of this year. So. Um, be on the lookout for that. And you can find also all this information on developers.snowflake.com. Awesome. And for viewers who are inspired by you and your journey, um, how can they follow you as you, you continue in your career? Yeah, uh, it, you know, definitely you know, follow me on, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. Um, you know, my, my handle is always J Daniel Myers. Uh, so, you know, check it, check me out on Twitter, LinkedIn um, and, uh, and Medium. Um, you know, so yeah, check me out there. Awesome. What's that J for? Uh, that's actually, so my middle name is Daniel. And so my first name is actually John. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, for all of you still watching, you know, that's a nice little, uh, you know, secret fact about me. Fun fact, John, that was news to me as well. All right. Well, thank you so much, Daniel. Really exciting updates from, from the developer team at Snowflake. And for viewers, thanks everyone for tuning in. Be sure to check out developers.snowflake.com and some of the other resources we discussed today at the links below. If you enjoyed our conversation, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the Snowflake YouTube channel and you'll get to see more videos like this one. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks, folks.